linear approximation. And the first thing it says to do here is find the linear approximation for L of X at X sub zero. X sub zero is defined right here. F is defined right here as e to the x. So to do this, we need to figure out the equation of a tangent line at one. So to do that, I need to find the derivative first. Luckily, the derivative of e to the x is itself, so that makes it kind of easy. And we need to figure out that slope at one. So I'm gonna plug one in here and you end up with e. So that means that our equation of a tangent line is gonna be e x plus b. And you need to figure out the b. To do that, we need to use the x value right here of one. Okay, so this will just be e plus b. The y value is this over here, so you're gonna have e for that, which makes this pretty easy because now b is just gonna be zero. So your L of x linear approximation equation is just gonna be e times x. All right, for b, it says use this approximation to find the exact value at x equals c. Here we go, there's x equals c right there at 1.1. So we need to figure out what L of 1.1 is. So this would just be e times 1.1, which if you have the decimal approximation, it ends up being 2.9901100011. Okay, so if you round this to, to three decimal places, it's gonna be 2.990. And I should say this right here is an approximation too but I'm just rounding it to three decimal places. Okay, for part C, it says compare this approximation with the exact value. So what I'm gonna do is subtract those two values. So I'm gonna do F of 1.1 um, minus L of 1.1. Okay, and I'm doing the absolute values of that. And you end up with 0 0.014, if we're rounding to three decimal places. And this would be an underestimate since F of 1.1 is 3.0041660024. So that's a linear approximation problem. If you have any questions about anything in this video, let me know.